Here is a layout that illustrates well the difference between beginner and advanced player. The beginner player in such cases will tend to go for easiest ball first without thinking forward in the setup and in the end will end up with a shot that is uh, that requires something crazy to win the game like this particular 8. Let's examine in a little bit more detail what went wrong. Before starting to shoot any balls, one should examine the layout on the table. And in this particular case, if we shoot stripes, then there is a glaring issue. The issue is ball number 8 that is blocked by ball number 1. Ball number 8 is the problem ball in this particular setup and by principle the problem balls need to be taken care of as soon as possible. In this case we use ball number 11 to develop ball number 8 into open play. This particular choice uh, allowed us to develop the problem ball in the first possible chance and also by making that choice we left ourselves a backup ball, a backup stripe from which uh, we are able to continue our run. The first shot in the run is a bit difficult because we need to apply enough backspin to take the cue ball into the one and then take it away from the pack but the reward was uh, taking care of the problem ball. Consider this example run. As I mentioned, before even starting to shoot, uh, we should examine the layout and in this particular case there is a glaring issue of ball number 9 and ball number 13 that are problem balls. We take care of these balls immediately by shooting ball number 11 and taking the cue ball into the pack of balls, developing them into open play. Now everything is in the open and we are good to win the game. I should mention that this video is a part of 8-Ball Strategy FAQ series where we try to explain the basic strate strategic concepts about the game of 8-Ball that uh, probably are known to advanced players but uh, might be extremely useful for someone that starts the journey with the game of pool. As you can see, by taking care of the problem balls first, we have solved all of the issues uh, in the very first shot and ever since then, neither of the shots was particularly difficult. Let's apply the knowledge we obtained uh, to one more example round. In this particular case, uh, the glaring issue for stripes is the ball number 15 located in the top part of the table. The top right pocket is blocked by two solids and it's difficult po to play position for the ball number 15. A reasonable solution in that case is to use uh, the ball number 11 to play position for ball number 14 for such an angle that will take us comfortably towards the top part of the table, towards the position area for ball number 15. In that case, we don't take care uh, of the problem balls in the very first shot, but uh, we take care of it as soon as possible, as soon as it is safe to do so. The positional play within this run was not spot on, but uh, since we have taken care of the problem ball, then all of the remaining shots are completely makeable and should take us to uh, win in this game. To conclude this video, remember that before you start even potting balls on a 8 ball layout, examine the table, look for the problem balls and try to take care of the problem balls as soon as possible, if possible within the first shot, if not possible slightly later, but try to take care of them as soon as possible and you'll see benefits in your pattern. I hope you enjoyed this type of content, take care.